at this point, I declare the work of the second international NGSE virtual conference officially open and give the floor to Frederick Nedermeyer for the presentation of his speech, the past and the future of international NGSE. Thank you. Please, Frederick. The NGSE yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Next slide, please. Next. Next. Okay. Where where are we where are we located? The uh, NGSE is uh, part of the uh, Fifth Avenue of uh, Service. It uh, the Fifth Avenue of Service was um, uh, officially uh, introduced to Rotary during one of the councils of, on legislation several years ago, and uh, NGSE is like the other youth and young adult programs and official uh, a program within the Rotary. We divide N NGSE in two different parts, a group uh, program and an individual program. Next one, please. Um, to come to the age uh, spread, the new generation programs go from 12 years, starting with the interactors, and end it with 30 years uh, with the um, Rotaract and the NGC programs. Uh, during um, the time, we, uh, we still have the youth exchange program in, uh, in between, and we have a RILA program. The RILA program, the age range in the different countries is um, different. Next, please. How uh, did uh, the NGSC program develop? Uh, the, uh, before we had the uh, NGSC uh, program, the official NGSC program, uh, there were some programs for young adults before. And then in, uh, 19, in 2013, the NGSC program uh, started. Uh, it is um, a program for the age range of 18 to 30 years. 18 means the person has to be of a full grown age and ends with uh, 30 years. Um, in um, contradiction, in uh, comparison or contradiction to the youth exchange program, the NGSE program does not have to follow the um, certification requirements. Of course, we work with adults. And the next, please. <clears throat> Go one back, please. OK. Um, education abroad is nothing which is uh, introduced uh, in modern times. Education abroad and vocal, uh, vocational training abroad is known in Europe since many, many, many hundreds of years. Like young journeymen hiked through Europe to learn their craft at different places. The merchants sent their hairs to partner companies in other countries so that they could learn the habits over there. And of course, the students interrupted their university students and learn abroad. All those things which are known from history are still active and are still valuable. Next, please. Next, please. Yeah, then. Why, why Rotary? Why shall Rotary do an NGSE program? The, the answers are easy. First of all, uh, it is one of the Rotary goals to foster peace. And, the, and one other goal is to help young people to find their position in the societies, to learn countries, uh, to learn the situation in their country and in other countries. When you go abroad, you don't, uh, in our program, you don't just learn something in your profession or in a proposed a profession, you also learn about the habits and the way the people in another country 
uh, have. And the more you know about another country, the easier is the communication with the people in that country. The next, please. Next slide. Okay. Um, the um, NGSE program is uh, broken into two parts. We have an uh, individual NGSE program and we have a group program. The individual program uh, goes from one to three months and the group goes uh, for a couple of weeks. Um, both, both have the, the same goal to get, to get inside view into the um, working situation in another country. The, the uh, um, individual is more, goes more in the depth and the group uh, uh, NGSE is more an overview about that, what is um, happening in another uh, country. Of course, the NGSE um, includes the word service. That means... No, ma io ci sono, eh, vi ascolto perfettamente. Uh, it means uh, that a service part can and has to be included in the program. Um, the um, expenses are, ma are basically um, paid by the participant, but the uh, hosting uh, club and district, they are responsible for accommodation, for support uh, at the place where they go and also for a place to work with you uh, respectively to visit. Next, please. The uh, program is based on the uh, cooperation and the contract between two participating districts. Um, we, are, we are facing participants from different areas. Uh, we are facing uh, uh, former exchange students, we are facing uh, uh, RILA participants, road directors, interactors, but also young adults who are associated with Rotary Goals but are not uh, at that moment deeply involved in the ro uh, Rotary uh, programs. Like in, in other programs, the, you apply if you want to participate, you apply at the local Rotary Club. And of course, we uh, get support by a database which is used by uh, the uh, Youth Exchange program and also uh, by the NGSE program. Next, please. So, how are, where are we now? Um, we, we get uh, support by our I to accomplish our program. Uh, our I publish, uh, publishes a program info, info on our I org. Uh, our I sends email to the uh, districts regularly. However, in, in general, the um, our I support uh, could need a little bit more improvement. We, we get, we, that means the districts get an annual directory of the RI officers, the RI district officers. Um, as I said, the uh, exchange is based on district, district um, contracts. Uh, we, we have several thousand exchanges annually, though there is no official count. Um, however, there still is a lot of uh, room for improvement because many of the districts worldwide uh, are not familiar with the um, NGSE program at all. And uh, Luciano has uh, mentioned already, we, we have um, formed an international committee to develop the program and to support the local districts and if necessary also the local clubs in finding their way into the program and if necessary also through the program. Next slide please. Uh, what, what have we as a committee done so far? We have developed an uh, application form. We have a, established a website on this uh, website young adult exchanges org you find information about the program, 
Um, you find uh, reports from uh, uh, former participants. You also find a, um, a directory and have the possibility to put in your request with, uh, or your offers. What do you want to accomplish or what can you participate to do? Uh, we have developed a database uh, which is called a YOLAM, Young Leaders Exchange Management. With this database, uh, we um, have one and one more directory. And we also, with this database, we produce the formal application for the program and transport the application to the district uh, where this student or the group of students uh, have, should go to and accomplish their uh, their work. We uh, during uh, official RI uh, uh, meetings, uh, we we offer of course a breakout session to uh, to demonstrate the NGC program, and we of um, and uh, we participate in pre conventions and other regional exchange conferences as long as we get slots there. And this is our second international conference. So there should be a possibility besides of other conferences to have one international NGSE own conference per year. Next, please. Yeah, where, where, do, we, where do we plan to go? Um, we improve the international cooperation so that more and more uh, young adults get to know about the program and uh, um, can participate. Uh, we um, have this uh, directory in our YOLAM, and despite of the directory, which uh, our I also uh, published, uh, and we continue to participate in convention and, and international meetings. Um, and the, the last point on this slide is we propose an enactment to the next council of legislation in 2022 to install a formal RI uh, NGSE committee where representatives from the different uh, continents in the world are represented. Thank you. Next one. This is uh, our committee. Um, whenever you have uh, questions or suggestions, please contact one from this uh, committee and we will take care and try to help or to help others. And the last one, please. Next slide, please. Uh, our website again, uh, young adult exchanges org. Here you find information which can help you either as a district or a club or a participant to find your way in and through the program. Last one, last slide. I thank all of you for your attention. And if you have a question or a suggestion, please send it to my email address, which you have seen on the slides. Thank you so much. Luciano. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's my pleasure for you. Thank you very much, Frederick Nedemaya, uh, past district governor and uh, current president of the uh, NGSC international team and um, uh, past president of the International Committee of Rotary Youth Exchange. Frederick has uh, uh, dedicated so many years working uh, uh, with young adults uh, in Rotary. Thank you. Thank you very much for your participation.